There has always been a mill at White Castle since the 12th century, utilising the present site since the 14th century, providing food for the castle. The current mill was built in the middle of the 18th century, but was ravaged by fire in 1880, and then was left as a burned out shell, until 1894 when the then new Earl of Warwick transformed it into one of England's first hydroelectric power plants. There were three methods of generating power within the mill house. The first of these was these crossly gas engines. These drove belts that drove dynamos that generated the electricity. Second, a water turbine was installed which drove a shaft and through gears and pulleys and belts ran yet another dynamo. And finally, the original water wheel was utilised to run the third dynamo. Once the electricity had been generated, it could be stored in these large batteries for later use. Not only did the mill house provide power for the entire castle, it also provided a method of charging batteries to run electric vehicles, such as this electric car. There was also an electric boat that was housed in a specially built boathouse on the River Avon with its own charging points. Water was also pumped up to the castle via this pump that was also in the mill house. The mill was to carry on producing power for the castle right up until 1940 when Maine's electricity arrived. However, by 1954 it had been abandoned. It was to be another 50 years and £2 million to restore the mill to its former glory. A fine example of Victorian innovation that we can still appreciate today.